Hey YouTube, what's going on? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a PE stick using this nifty little application from Iomi. It's called Iomi PE Builder 1.4. It is very, very easy to use and does a really good job as you'll see in the next clip when we try out our stick. I have tried this before just to make sure I understood exactly what was going on and what it was taking you through. So let's go ahead and start building. So as you can see here if my video recording software is picking it up, it's asking you for administration permissions. So you can say yes if you're on Windows Vista 7 or 8, or if you're running the Windows 10 Technical Preview. So this is just saying about AOMI PE Builder. Welcome to use AOMI PE Builder. That sentence does not make sense. Welcome to use. Take out the word use. Leave it, welcome to AOMI PE Builder. Makes much more sense. This tool is specially designed to create a bootable media based on Windows PE. It can help you recover systems, partition hard drives, backup, restore, explore files, etc. The following programs are embedded in AOMI PE Builder. So that's what's guaranteed to be in there. So we'll hit next. This program detects that your system supports creating a bootable media. Press next to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything. So for file, you get 7-zip, everything, image, notepad2, qdir, recuva, and some PDF1. Under network, you get PE network and QT web, which is a web browser of some kind. And then for system, you get CPUZ, OSF, mount, and bootis. Now it gives you the option here to add drivers. I do not recommend adding drivers for the reason that if you add drivers, you're adding drivers to a Pacific machine or a Pacific motherboard. Which, usually, if you're building the stick, you're probably more than likely going to use it on more than one machine. And that other machine that you might use it on might not use the same drivers. And you can also add other programs, which are our sites. If you just Google search portable apps, I think there's like portableapps.com or .net or something that you can get them from, but I'm not adding anything. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now it gives you three options. Burn to CD, DVD, which we're not going to be doing. We're going to be using USB boots. We're going to put it to my memory stick, Best Buy Geek Squad is the brand on it just some generic thing is really all it is or you can export as an ISO file but we're going to put it to a bootable USB hit next and it's going to give you this prompt the operation will cause that your USB disk 7 Best Buy Geek Squad is formatted. We recommend that you back up your important data on the disk, then rerun this operation. Are you sure you want to format this disk now? This is where you, if you have any data on your USB, back it up. Or if it's just old files and you don't need them anymore, sure, go ahead and blow it away. This is my one that I use for doing tutorials like this that require USBs I use this stick surprisingly it hasn't failed yet so I'm going to go ahead and click OK so now this part of the operation can take some time it also depends on what your system specs are so I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward through this and come back when it's done So as you can see it has now finished so we're going to go ahead and hit finish 
Now let's go test this puppy out. So let's go ahead and test the USB stick that we just made in the software. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And then I'm going to go ahead and start pressing F8 on my machine to get to the boot menu. Now this may be different on your machine. So whatever your boot menu key is on your computer, you're going to want to use F8 or whatever the key is on the machine that you're trying to boot to the stick from. Which will take us into our boot menu. So you can see here our options. I'm going to want to go down to a Eufy, to the Eufy Best Buy Geek Squad 8.01 which is now going to start booting from the USB stick which just could take a minute or two So as you can see here now we're logging in as by default administrator, that's the user that's on the stick. On mine I get this explore.exe system warning unknown hard error so I just hit enter so as you can see here we have integrated tools so like CPU-Z which will load that up Now you can go ahead and uncheck check for updates because it doesn't really matter. So as you can see here, this is giving me CPU information. So I'll hit OK, close that out. You get Notepad 2. These are some of the software that comes preloaded. As well as you get Control Panel, which I hate this view. I just go large icons. This is all you get for Control Panel while you're in the Boot PE stick. So as you can see here, my OS drive, which is my 512 GB Crucial MX100 SSD, this is what we're booting from, my external 2TB USB 3.0 drive, this is part of my OS drive, storage drive as well as the other part of the USB stick, which you won't see anything. And then you have Windows Disk Management. Now keep in mind I'm running Windows 8.1 Pro on my machine. So this is what it was built off of is Windows 8.1 Pro. Now I do believe with this software that when you build it it's based off of the operating system that is being used on the computer it's built off of. 
And now just to close it, go Alt F4 and you'll get this window with your full slew of options. Switch user, sign out, shut down, restart. So I'm just going to go ahead, hit restart, and boot into my main OS. So thanks for watching my tutorial slash review of the AOMI PE Builder software that is a free download from their website which you can find by just going to Google and searching Aomi PE Builder as well as while you're over there check out their other software they do have a great selection of software that works really really well is very easy to use so stay tuned for my final thoughts on the software after I maybe play around with it a little bit more build a few more sticks with it so thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a comment, hit that like button as well as subscribe button and go check out my Facebook page, my Twitter page as well as my Instagram. See you in the next one.